guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Taylor. Today I've got a new product to share with you. This was not sent to me by the company. This is not sponsored. But I did receive this for free. It's from the brand Red Star. It's their new yeast. It's called Instant Sourdough. So it came in this little, little booklet. And it came with a regular like platinum superior baking yeast, which they say is regular than their re better than their regular one. And then I also came with the sourdough one right here and then a coupon for each of the products. I believe that I signed up for this free sample um, from a thread that I saw on Reddit. I follow like the freebie Reddit thread and I get free samples all the time. And I think I actually signed up for this like a couple months ago and then it just came in my mail the other day. And I'm excited to try it because sourdough bread, I don't know if you've ever tried to make sourdough bread. It's a lot of work. You have to make a starter, let it sit for days, and I've never tried it because it just seems like too much work. So I love sourdough bread, so I usually just buy it from the bakery, but I'm excited to give this a try because if we can make sourdough bread, well like bread that tastes like sourdough bread, then that is going to be a win. I'm not exactly sure how much this costs. If I can find it online, I will leave it down below. Um, I looked at my local area and it's pretty much only sold at Publix and Sprouts and Whole Foods. We're the only places around me that have it right now, so if I want to use this coupon, I have to go to one of those three stores. So it says you just add it to any regular bread recipe. You don't take a traditional sourdough recipe and add this to it. You're just going to take like a regular bread recipe and use the sourdough yeast in place of regular yeast. So I'm actually going to use a two hour no knead crusty bread recipe that I make in the Dutch oven. I've made it a couple times before. It is delicious and I think it would make a really good like sourdough bread. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we need for that. Okay so here is that instant sourdough yeast that I was talking about. And it's just in there. It's dry and it says yeast plus a sourdough culture made with real sourdough without, make real sourdough without a starter. So we are going to do this recipe, like I said, two hour fastest, no need of bread. For this, you just need three cups of flour. You can do bread flour or all purpose. I usually just have all purpose on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. I've got one and a half cups of hot water and then a teaspoon of salt. And so I'm just gonna add my flour, yeast, and salt in here, stir it, and then I will stir in the water until it's all combined. Okay, now I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and let it sit on the counter at room temperature for an hour. It has been 40 minutes and the bread is still resting and, or the dough, it's not bread yet. I'm gonna take my Dutch oven and put it in my cold oven and turn it to 450 degrees and let this whole thing preheat while the oven preheats. The dough has been resting for an hour, so now we are going to turn it out onto a floured surface. So I've just put some flour on my cutting board and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more flour on top. And we're just going to kind of fold it. I'm going to use this uh, little scraper thing from Dollar Tree and kind of fold it. It says 10 to 12 times. Uh, fold it and then form it into a ball and then we will place it 
and some parchment paper. Well, I just realized that I am out of parchment paper. So I'm going to hopefully not screw this up. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on this piece of aluminum foil to keep it from sticking and hopefully that works. I just don't want it to stick to my Dutch oven because you're supposed to put the parchment paper in the Dutch oven. So I'm gonna do that with this and then I'm gonna cover it with a towel and let it sit for another 15 minutes before we put it in the oven. Okay, so I just pulled this out of the oven. It is extremely hot, so I had to make sure I used my oven mitt. And now I'm going to get this foil with the dough and place it in there carefully. back on and then that is going to go back in the oven for 30 minutes and then after the 30 minutes I will remove the lid and the foil and just put the bread back in there for another 30 minutes no just 10 more minutes once it comes back out looks so good nice and crusty now once it cools we can cut it and see if it actually tastes like sourdough okay I can't wait any longer I am so ready to cut into the spread and see if it tastes good so here we go it's nice and crispy on the outside Nice and soft on the inside. Yes, that is really good. Definitely has a sourdough flavor. Definitely would recommend that instant yeast package. Again, this is what it looks like. It's by Red Star, their Platinum Instant Sourdough. And as I said before, I will have the link down below so that you guys can search and see what stores it's at available near you. For me, it's at Sprouts, Whole Foods, and Publix. But that is going to wrap up this video. I hope that you enjoyed that, seeing me try something new that I've never tried before. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye! I believe I...